Start the show off again. Glenn Hant. Let's get it going. Push off a little bit. Come on out here, Glenn. Superman! showed up. Uh, wow, that's going to be a little different. But this is my first time on stage as a comedian. I've done plays and stuff like that before, but I've, I've never done stand-up comedy. And so I was in the back there, and these guys were trying to psych me out and stuff. And it was freaking me out for a little bit, but they told me, hey, it's hard, and it has to last 20 minutes. And I thought in the back of my head, well, my girlfriend tells me that every night. I don't know if she's a big deal. <laughs> She still thinks it lasts 20 minutes. I wait till she's not looking. Change the alarm clock. <laughs> Can't figure out why she gets to work 19 minutes early every day. <laughs> she's over there blushing. My mom's sitting next to her. She's going shit. Just joking. No, I actually cheated. I I had two tests today in this thing, so I figured I gotta do one thing. I'm, I'm more likely to get caught cheating on my tests so or all my jokes on my hand, and I ran my fingers through my hand. I can't read them. Other than crap, that's not gonna work too well. But uh, I was an EMT for a little bit there here in Twin Falls, and a lot of people were like, "Oh, he's an EMT. That's great. You can save our lives." Bullshit. I'm a comedian now. What do you think I'm here? And you know, but I get people come up to me all the time looking for free advice. They're like, "Hey." Dude, my, my thumb hurts. I'm like, you got pancreatic cancer. I'm sorry. Kind <laughs> of durable. We're going to have to uh, amputate your toe. Use my thumb. And they always do it. It hurts if I do this. I don't do it, dumb shit. <laughs> Problem solved. That'd be 20 bucks. <laughs> Maybe. You see a lot of weird stuff in the medical field. And there's all sorts of wrong things you see in the medical field, like circumcision. Who the hell thought of that? <laughs> He's like, you know, it looks much like a sleeve. What do you want to do with that shit? I don't know. Cut it off. What do you think the baby's thinking? What, are you jealous? Give it back. My mom stood out my little scrapbook so that everybody opens that up. You know, there's, there's a lot of things I'm doing for the first time now, and, and just things like that, that they stick in your mind real well. You know, like the first time you see a song, you know, all the girls are going, Hi! You know, the guys are going, I know what you're talking about, but girlfriend's right here. Hey, but the first time you see a song, you're like in awe at this contraption. You're looking down, I was sitting at a basketball game, and I was a little 16 year old kid watching the ball go back and forth, and it flew up here, and some girls jumped back and me forward, and I was like, Holy crap. <laughs> And I was just in awe at this thing. It was bright pink, and it's just yelling at me, look, look, and I'm like, look, can you do? like, there's this little triangle thing to it, and this string that disappears. And I'm like, where's that go? <laughs> and the friend girls me, look away, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it, it's things like that, that that are so crazy to you. And then it, you get older, and then you're more used to these things, but then... As you get older, I'm 22 now, it seems that everybody stays at the age of 15. And it, it, there's all sorts of wrong things that go with it. Your eyes tell me that you're 15, but your boots tell me you're 20. <laughs> and it's wrong. I know it's statutory rape, but nobody will have to know. And a lot of you don't want to laugh. You're sitting there, I feel amazing to him like that. You stand like sitting at one o'clock in a coma guy's room. Six o'clock? Is that when you want to wake up? And yeah, oh, one, two, three, we got it. Let's <laughs> all turned on. And that was my sister, by the way. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that was funny. And it's like hiding Easter eggs in a Jewish person's lawn. And they come in the morning, Mom, what are those? And yeah, you, you don't want to laugh, but you'd giggle if you saw it. <laughs> and I'm going to cheat real fast. <laughs> and those, those are some cruel things, but. But being in the medical field, everybody's got this big old premonition that you have no, no life because you're in the medical field. But that's not true. I still love sports. I love to watch tennis. Anybody watch tennis? Yeah. Yeah, we got one person watching tennis. Everybody else is going, I don't know what the fuck tennis yeah. is. <laughs> and then I love the Williams sisters. Ah! Ah! Sitting there on the couch and 
Mike's interest in, in oh, Stacey Ann Cornicola. She doesn't give a crap about Stacey. I'm Ann Cornicola. Next year, I'm a little boy. I'm Ann Cornicola. Love that gal. She's quite cute. Works with everybody. Ann's a cute rap. I'm Ann Cornicola. Do you know it? Hey, but I, I like watching football. How many of you like watching football? <laughs> How many of you got girlfriends to watch football with you? <laughs> One guy <laughs> raising his hand. Yeah, I know. It's one of those things. But, you know, I don't mind letting my girlfriend watch flag or football with me or anything like that. As long as John Madden is, is announcing. Because he, he just tells you everything that's going on. Saves you the time of explaining it to your girlfriend. If that now, if you, if they get the ball and they throw it, and the guy downfield catches the ball and ends up in the end zone, they will score six points. Oh, no! So this guy here gets the ball and throws it, and the guy with the cute gloves catches it, they get six points? Yeah, a quick one, honey. <laughs> Catch it on real quick, aren't you? And then for the extra point, they're going to hike the ball and give it a good kick, and if it goes between the uprights, they get that extra point.
and they have three shopping carts, you're like a brigade going through the trucks. Mom's grandma stuff. Yes! Yeah. And they do that. Roll up with five hundred dollars worth of food, two hundred dollars in stamps and coupons, and then people are watching us, and there's some tourists watching me. She just actually yanked the hair out and we ended up breaking up over it. And I kept thinking to myself, 
if I could replay any moment in that, in right there, if I could replay anything and do it over, I would have shot that fucking purple show right at the first place down. Knock him out. I'm like, what up now? Gotcha. They're trying to line up and going, get off stage! No, but, you know, I, how many of you are U of I fans? Who do you have to do? Everybody, Boise State fans? Screw you guys. I'm just joking, I'm forced to go to Boise State next year because I'm poor. And an alcoholic. I'm actually, I'm actually, um, three months sober now. Thank you. Yeah, but, no, that's court order, so don't worry too much about it. But, uh, up at, up at U of I, we had all sorts of fun, man. All sorts of fun stuff. And you know, it's the best, the best stories always started with, a uh, I was hammered. <laughs> and that would attract people, people out in hall, you were what? I want to hear this one, but I, I was. I was hammered, and we, were, we had this, uh, these racks. And in these racks, there's little bunk beds, and they hang sheets from it, so nobody can see in there, right? And so I got this broomstick, and I walked up there, and I'm like, searching for fat chicks. <laughs> and back down, and I walked over to the next one. Searching for hey, fat chicks. Everybody hopped up, runs over there, pulls it up, and there's this chick, and Joe going, look away, look away! Hey, he, uh, she actually ended up commenting the entire thing. I thought it was hilarious until I realized she was the fucking mommy. And she was commentating the whole thing, and she was like, Oh, Joe, Joe, you're touching me. I'm like, Joe, don't do it. Joe, please don't. And I'm, I'm already going to have to do something to do it. Up there salivating. And, uh, and, and she says the sexiest thing to him. She's like, Joe, can I be on top? Oh, hell no, hell no. But, uh, that was my experience at U of I. Thank you. You guys have been great. Hope you enjoy your night. All right, we're going to take a like, 10-minute smoke break for anybody.